The production process of Zamiat Company products in 2023, a total of 34,738 commercial vehicles were produced in Zamyat. In this chart, you can see the composition of products in 2023. The dual fuel van has had the largest share in Zamyat's product portfolio. The circulation of Zamyat's products in 2023 has grown by about 43% compared to the previous year. The plans were achieved. In the mentioned year, several programs were implemented to eliminate supply and production bottlenecks. According to published statistics, the production of other commercial car manufacturers, except for Zamyat, has decreased by about 6% in 2023 compared to 2022, but the significant growth of 43% of Zamyat's production in 2023 led to compensating for the stagnation in the country, so that in the end, the growth was 12%. We will produce commercial vehicles in the country in 2023. In early 2023, the production statistics of Zamyat vans in the country crossed the border of 1 million units. This circulation for a car is unique in the commercial vehicle sector. Considering the circulation of vans in circulation, there is a significant potential in the field of after-sales service. Therefore, Plans to increase income in the field of after-sales services have been included as one of the priorities in the strategies of 2023. Zamiat Company's position in the automotive industry in some financial and economic achievements. During 2023, a total of more than 67,000 units of commercial products have been produced, and in the meantime, Zamiad Company has maintained the first rank among the country's domestic car manufacturers in this sector by obtaining 51% of the production share of these types of products. It is worth mentioning that Zamiad's share in this sector of the country's industry has grown by 4% compared to 2022 sales, you can see the share of the products offered to the market in the income of 2023 in this chart. The dual fuel van has had the largest share in sales with 47%. The revenue of Zamiat Company in 2023 reached more than $290 billion with a jump of 57%. A significant part of this jump was due to the growth of 54% in the titration of the products offered. Also, the sales amount of spare parts in 2023 has increased by 23% compared to 2022. Introduction of Zamiat Company Products Van Putra the story of the production of the Putra van goes back many years as a replacement van for one of the oldest products in the history of the automobile industry, namely the Zamyat 24 or Nissan Blue. The van that was introduced to Iran as one of the old products of the Japanese brand Nissan and is still on the production line in disbelief. Zamyat company tried very hard to replace the Zamyat 24 van with newer products such as Shuka and then Putra. Replace completely. This was never possible due to the increase in the final price of the new product. This company has launched another product known as Putra Plus. This product cannot be a suitable substitute for Zamiat 24, but considering the needs of today's modern market and being placed in a lower price range than Chinese assembly vans, Putra Plus can be a suitable option for some light cargo tasks. Zamiat Putra Plus Van in fact, it is an updated version of the Putra pickup truck which, unlike the Zamyat 24, is not actually made by the Zamyat company. This is the new pickup truck model, Fode, of the Chinese company, which has been sent to the country's market with a 70% domestication rate. Since the new standards of Iran's automotive industry made it difficult to continue production, Zamyat decided to produce a new product to replace the car named Z24. The first attempt was called Shuka and the second attempt was called Putra. Both cars were not accepted by the market and were a cheap cargo van due to having more comfort options and of course a very high final price. Both cars were big failures for Zamyat and Saipa Automobile Group, but at the same time, it is inevitable for an automobile company to introduce a new product of this class. As a result, Padra Plus should be considered the third new attempt of Zamyat in this field, which at the same time is very unlikely to be welcomed by buyers. Zamyat Karen Van Zamyat Karen is not a new car and it is the two-cabin version of Putra Plus and in this sense, they have the same design. Both Zamyat pickups are Chinese assembly Lion F-16 Fode. 
Zanyad Karen Van has an old and outdated design that was introduced to the Chinese market in 2012. The interesting point here is that the Chinese Fode Van is also based on Isuzu Rodeo, whose production was stopped in 2002. Therefore, we are dealing with a car that arrived in Iran one or two decades later. The Zamyad Karen's face has the same rectangular design as the Putra Plus, which includes a rectangular grille, with rectangular lights on either side, and fog lights and a rectangular air intake at the bottom of the bumper. In the side view, there is no difference between the new Zamyad products, except that a cabin has been added to the car body and made the cargo space smaller. The biggest difference between Karen and Putra Plus is in the rear view, which includes changes in lights, cargo space, and bumper. The lights are placed at a higher height and at the same level in the cargo space, and the design of the bumper has been changed, and instead of the single Putra Plus fog breaker, two fog breakers have been installed on both sides. The design of Zamyat Karen off-road van can deceive the audience and draw the shape of an off-road car, but this is only the appearance of the case and under this body, the same old and weak 94 horsepower engine is placed. The Zamyat Karen van is a two-cabin Putra Plus model, and for this reason, Zamyat has not made any changes in the interior design. Therefore, you should not expect that high-quality materials have been used to produce this dashboard. The Zamyad Karen van has two cabins and it can accommodate five passengers. Zamyad Zagris van. This car is actually a Chinese pickup called Fode F22, which was introduced to the Chinese market in 2015. Fode is the same company Zamyad has been working with for years, using its pickup room to build new models based on Nissan pickups like the Shuka, Putra, and most recently the Karen van. Fode also produces the SUV version of this car under the name of Landford, which Zamyad had planned to release that model under the name of Titan, but there is no news about this SUV yet. The story is that in 2020, the Chinese company Dayan sent the F22 version to the market with minor changes and the name V5, and the Kalut pause is actually the Dayan V5, therefore, Zagros and Kalut are actually one pickup that are sold both in China and in Iran by two different companies and with different names. Since the Zamyad Zagros van, or Fode F22, was introduced in 2015 and has not changed almost anything during these seven years, it does not look very modern compared to today's pickups, but in the Iranian market, which has been seeing Nissan and Mazda vans for decades, we are used to it, it will be new. Also, Zagros van looks more muscular and modern compared to competitors like Capra. Zamyad Zagros pickup trucks will be offered in our country with two gasoline and diesel engines. The gasoline engine of this car is the same 2.4-liter naturally aspirated model of Mitsubishi, which has been used in many Chinese pickups in the Iranian market, such as Amico Asina and Capra. According to Zamiad, this engine has 131 horsepower and 200 newton meters of torque, and its power is transmitted to all four wheels through a five-speed manual gearbox. The diesel engine of the new Zamyad pickup is also a 2-liter turbo diesel model with 150 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque, which is connected to a six-speed manual gearbox. 